Each year we do a countdown of the top 5 web browsers for your computer. This year there are quite a few changes. Instead of being based on popularity, we'll count these down based on numerous factors, including performance, the number of useful features, privacy and security, and cross-platform support. All are free and available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number 5 is Google Chrome. Even though it's the world's most used browser, it's been slow to innovate, getting passed by its competitors who offer more useful features built into their browsers. Chrome has had the reputation of being a resource hog. To Google's credit, over the past year they have made improvements to performance, but I still would not recommend using it on lower end hardware. It has excellent cross-platform support, allowing you to sync bookmarks, passwords, and other stuff across multiple devices, including their mobile apps for both iOS and Android. In another attempt to say something else nice about Chrome, it is visually appealing with rounded corners, and because it does lack many useful features found on other browsers, there's less clutter. To enhance your browsing experience, Chrome does have a large number of extensions that can also be used on other Chromium-based browsers I'll be showing you later on. This past year, Google stirred up some controversy when they announced their plan to limit ad-blocking extensions, upsetting many of its users. As of right now, that plan has been delayed, with no launch date to initiate the plan. Just like other Google services, Chrome is not great for privacy with how they collect your data. Using it, more so than most browsers, you are not the customer, you are the product. In the number four spot, for those of you focused on productivity, is Vivaldi. One of my personal favorites, it features tons of unique features built in that you won't find in most browsers. For those of you that follow our channel, you'll notice it dropped lower on our list since last year, and I'll tell you why later. But first, let's go over the positives, Vivaldi can be customized how you want it, and because it's built on Chromium, it supports Chrome extensions. Tracker and ad blocking is built in. There are tools to keep your tabs organized and a whole lot more. And out of beta, they now have their very own built-in email client, calendar, and news feed reader. When you launch Vivaldi, in their main window, there's a speed dial with your favorite websites. Along the left of the sidebar, you can quickly access your bookmarks, downloads, along with most of their other features. You can also access the sites you visit most often in a split window while you work on other things in the main window. In addition, in their taskbar on the lower right, there's a screenshot tool that'll let you capture what's on your screen or an entire web page. Unlike the others in our top five that are available for all major operating systems, Vivaldi is still not available for iOS, and that's one reason why we had to drop it lower on our list. Another reason is users with low system specs report that Vivaldi runs slow on their computers. Other than that, it's an excellent browser developed by fantastic people. Coming in at number three is the Brave web browser. It's open source and built using Chromium, giving you the ability to add extensions from the Chrome web store. It's great for those of you concerned about privacy and security with a high emphasis on performance. By default, it blocks third-party trackers and ads on all websites, allowing web pages to load faster. It blocks those creepy cross-site cookies that follow you from site to site, and it also protects you from phishing attacks and fingerprinting, which is a type of online tracking that's more invasive than cookie-based tracking. When you open Brave, you'll notice it has a nice-looking interface. In the upper left of the dashboard, it'll show you the number of trackers and ads blocked, along with the bandwidth and time saved. Below that, you can add your favorite sites for easy access. When you're on a web page to see how many trackers and ads are being blocked on that page, click on the shield icon to the right of the address bar. This site is not too bad. It shows there's only two that need to be blocked. If you're on a website you support and would like ads to appear, toggle the slider off to enable ads. Brave has excellent cross-platform support. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and also has apps available for Android and iOS to easily sync your data between platforms. Before we get to our top two, here are some others to consider that might be worth your time to check out. Safari, exclusive to Apple devices only, is the default browser to consider if you're baked into the Apple ecosystem. Lacking many features of its competitors, just like the dearly departed Internet Explorer, it's a great browser to use to download other browsers. Opera, which at one time used to be more popular prior to its sale to Chinese investors, is a browser that's still hanging around for you to try out with ad blocking and a so-called VPN. If you trust it and want to check it out, it's available for all major operating systems, including Chromebook. 
Opera also has their so-called browser for gamers, Opera GX, with features specifically made for those into playing video games. It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. At this time, it's not available for Linux. In the video prior to this one, discussing the best search engines, I told you about the recent controversy with DuckDuckGo. Well, if you still trust them, they now have a privacy-focused browser in beta for macOS only for you to try out, with the Windows version coming soon. And the last of our bonus picks is the open source Tor browser. Using a modified version of Firefox, it works to keep your internet activity anonymous through a network of more than 7,000 relays. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android. Back to the countdown in the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is Microsoft Edge. After several years of failing with their own base source code, Microsoft gave up and Edge is now Chromium-based. Shockingly, they've managed to build a browser that's a lot better than Google's Chrome. It's feature-packed. If you're into cloud gaming, it's been optimized to save on memory with support for popular themes and extensions from their own store, along with those on the Chrome Web Store. Other features include Startup Boost, that makes Edge load faster when it starts up. For those of you that keep multiple tabs open, Sleeping Tabs puts those tabs you're not using to sleep, save on system resources. And Efficiency Mode on laptops can yield, on average, 25 minutes more of battery life. If you have small children, you'll appreciate their kids mode that attempts to create a safe, kid-friendly browser experience streamlined with additional security features and age-appropriate content. On their start page, as you'd expect, there are Bing search bars at the top. Below that are quick links to your favorite sites, along with the news feed. And in the upper left, you can get quick access to other Microsoft services. Other features I'll point out real quickly here at the top include Read Aloud, which will read the contents of the web page. Collections lets you save your favorite web pages into various categories. And Web Capture, here to the right, lets you take a screenshot without the need for a third party program, including the entire web page from top to bottom. Edge is not just for Windows users, it's also available for Mac OS, iOS, Android, and they now even have a version for Linux. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Firefox. From the folks at the nonprofit Mozilla Foundation, this open source browser was first released in 2002, long before any of the others in our top five even existed. It has the distinction of being the only browser in our top five not based on Chromium. It's feature packed with an emphasis on privacy and security. By default, it blocks third party trackers, crypto mining scripts, and trackers from social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. It blocks those annoying videos that autoplay when you load up a site. There's a built-in reader mode, screenshot tool, and a whole lot more. Many people don't know that Firefox was the first to offer extensions, not Chrome. All the best ones are here and are a great way for enhancing your browsing experience. When you're looking at an article, the reader mode, located to the right of the address bar, is great for removing clutter from the page to make it easier to read. And to take a screenshot, you just simply need to right click anywhere on the page and select Take Screenshot. Your choices are Save Full Page, Save Visible, or Drag and Click an Area. Firefox is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. There's also mobile apps for Android and iOS. Your data can be synced between all platforms. Their Android app even lets you add extensions, just like their desktop browser, which is a game changer. Extensions at this time are not available for iOS. Thanks for watching. Links to all web browsers mentioned are located in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments which web browser is your favorite and why. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to not miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Gumbo.